The actor who does the voice of Apu on The Simpsons says he understands the criticism facing the show's representation of the character and would be willing to stop voicing him. Welcome back, you're watching What's Trending. I'm Martine Bierman. Make sure to subscribe for more social media and awesome news stories every day. Hank Azaria has voiced Apu since his first appearance in season one of The Simpsons in 1990. He appeared on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert to discuss the return of his IFC show Brockmire and addressed how he believes South Asian and Indian American writers should be included in The Simpsons writer's room to inform what happens with Apu. Genuinely informing whatever new direction this character may take, including how it is voiced or not voiced. You know, I, I'm perfectly willing and happy to step aside or help transition it into something new. I really hope that's what The Simpsons does. And it just, it not only makes sense, but it just feels like the right thing to do to me. Well. Now, Apu has been offensive as a stereotype to many Indian Americans since his character first began in 1990. It's just that the world was a different place back then and we didn't have these frequent discussions about race and representation. So it was pretty easy for the mostly white male Simpsons writer's room to ignore. The issue was made much more pressing with the release of Hari Kondabolu's documentary The Problem with Apu, which used the character to start a discussion about the lack of representation of South Asian characters in film and television. Right away they were like, can you do an Indian voice and how offensive can you make it? I would immediately begun to talk this way. I was like, it's not tremendously accurate. It's a little uh, stereotype. Like, that's all right. They want the accent to sound like this and they want your tongue to be really pulled back. The Simpsons itself eventually addressed the controversy in a recent episode. What am I supposed to do? It's hard to say. Something that started decades ago and was applauded and inoffensive is now politically incorrect. What can you do? Some things will be dealt with at a later date. If at all. And if you didn't catch it, Lisa looks at a picture of Apu on her bedside table which says, don't have a cow on it. Kondabolu was not pleased with that response. He tweeted, wow, politically incorrect? That's the takeaway from my movie and the discussion it sparked? Man, I really love this show. This is sad. And in the problem with Apu, I used Apu and The Simpsons as an entry point into a larger conversation about the representation of marginalized groups and why this is important. The Simpsons response tonight is not a jab at me, but at what many of us consider progress. But others, including comedian Bill Maher, says there's no use getting offended by things from 30 years ago that the creators didn't know would be offensive. But aren't we adult enough to separate what we like about an old movie from what we don't? We can watch Big as a movie about a kid who becomes an adult and not as a movie about a grown woman who <laughs> a 12 year old. But Azaria now seems to be on Kondabolu's side. He said he's opened his eyes to the matter and doesn't seem to be thrilled with how The Simpsons responded. Um, I think that if anybody came away from that segment feeling that they should lighten up or take a joke better or grow a thicker skin or That's what people up, said, like, uh, like, we, like we, we've heard what you said and we were not going to respond. Yeah, that's certainly not the way I feel about it. And that's definitely not the message that I want to want to send. Well, what Current showrunner of The Simpsons, Al Jean, hasn't responded to Azaria's appearance on Colbert yet. Though he has previously retweeted those who've defended their response to the Apu controversy, including those who've insulted Kondabolu by name. He also tweeted on April 13th, I truly appreciate all responses, pro and con. We'll continue to try to find an answer that is popular and more important, right. After Azaria's interview on The Late Show, Kondabolu tweeted, thank you, Hank Azaria. I appreciate what you said and how you said it. Radio host Chris Stigel commented, Krusty is Jewish, groundskeeper Willie is Scottish, Reverend Lovejoy and Ned Flanders are Christians, Cletus is a hick, could go on and on. All stereotypes, just like Apu. This is so stupid. And at Vasectomy Soros tweeted, Love how the Apu defense squad can simultaneously be like, it's just a show, find something important to be mad about, and also, I'll be so mad if you change the show even a little. I don't know, I think that it's a very interesting conversation to be had, it needs to be had, and I do think that if the writer's room is not fully represented, then that is something that has to happen. But I'm not sure where we draw the line with comedy. Obviously, in comedy, there's so much more to it than just making jokes at the expense of other people. That doesn't always have to happen. But on some level, is there a way to kind of make fun of how we are without being offensive. What do you guys think The Simpsons should do with Apu? Let us know in the comments and for more trends, head to whatstrending.com.